Hey everyone, Till the Collect Jurassic, something really cool in the review table today. Of course, Mattel Jurassic World Dominion toys are all we've been talking about lately, but let's take a second and talk about some of the new legacy collection coming out, like this excellent kitchen encounter pack. It was literally just revealed like not even a month ago, um, but it's already showing up in stores at Target, so keep an eye out. It'll be everywhere in a few weeks, I'm sure, um, but I got it here. We're definitely going to obviously unbox it and take a look and do all kinds of uh, comparisons and stuff. And of course we have the whole legacy gang here ready to join the party. Uh, now that Lex is finally here to join the Jurassic Park tour. So super excited about that. I'm excited about everything about this pack. Um, pack. We got a cool Raptor. We have a uh, dirty Tim, as I call him, uh, Tim in the box here with a little bit of extra dirt. So um, just a really, really cool pack that I know a lot of people have been waiting on for a long time with uh, the very first Lex action figure to ever released for a Jurassic toy line. So lots to be excited about. And of course, this packaging, but before we go ahead and unbox it, let's talk about this right here. It's really cool. You can't really tell there's like a kitchen background. You can see the glare. You can see me <laughs> in the reflection. But um, when I open the box, we'll get that kitchen insert out. Um, you really have to see this in person to appreciate how they have um, everyone set up in here with the raptor on the table, of course, and then the uh, kids sort of uh, below. We've got Lex holding a frying pan, and yeah, that background back there with the windows out into the jungle. Really, really, uh, you know, the, all these legacy packs, they've done a really, really good job bringing that environment into the packaging, and of course, they've done that here as well. And then you have a little bit of flashes of color with the, uh, the uh, jungle print. Man, it's only that one spot. I want to see more of this. Come on. Let me see more of that jungle print. Um, on the back, of course, you can see uh, Lex and Tim holding hands. She's <laughs> defending herself from the raptor with the frying pan. Advertisements for the scan, the, uh, like the scan code stuff, yada, yada, yada. Other than that, it's pretty much uh, all there is to the box, but it does have just a fantastic uh, display inside. And you know, I open up all my toys. Clearly, you can see on the shelf behind me, I open up all my toys, but uh, Legacy is actually something I do make a point to buy two. I know that's so uh, typical of collectors, but I buy one to open and uh, one to keep in box because their boxes are just so beautiful and they look so cool that I feel bad opening them. So I always get two, but... For today's review, obviously we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing and take a look at the toys inside. So let's pull out this insert as a whole so we can get a good look at it here. So hopefully you can already see a little bit better view of the kitchen back there. Oh no, Grant, don't fall over. We haven't even we haven't even got you guys into the review yet. You can't be falling over. Um, there's like this table here too. Oh my gosh, I love it. So um, hopefully that gives you a little bit better idea of that cardboard background. Looks like the um, Raptor is literally sitting on a, a cardboard table, which is kind of fun that they uh, made it a piece that comes out. I mean, come on, that's pretty cool. Um, and then if I take the plastic out, you can get a better idea of that kitchen, um, kitchen detail on this artwork. Uh, not every day in a review that we really spend a lot of time talking about the packaging, but look at this. You got the countertops, you got all the pots and pans. Again, like a peek out into the jungle back here. The fans. Oh, look at here. See in the window, the raptor snorting against the glass. I mean, I didn't even notice that before. Look at that detail right there. That is super fun. And then of course over here, you have all the like spoons and all that uh, spatulas, the la the ladle, you know, that she grabs. Um, all that fun stuff in here. I love the 2021 Mattel. I mean, this was clearly maybe meant to come out in 2021, but here we are in 2022. Um, got the table right there. So really fun little uh, cardboard display. And I'll, I'll keep it um, handy off to the side because I think we can actually, um, you know, set up the uh the figures in here for a little scene which is a lot of fun too so let's go ahead and get those toys back on the table um in the plastic here we of course have dirty tim as i call him and we'll, we'll take a look at him obviously not a whole new figure but obviously the the, the dirt deco on him is new oh we also have lex in the frying pan and then of course we have the Velociraptor, which is probably the figure that I'm the most excited about. Oh yeah, this thing is awesome. Oh yeah, real excited about this Raptor right here. Um, man, this thing is awesome. Okay, and then we have, yeah, Lex 
and Tim. So let's go ahead and start off with the real exciting thing, which is Lex. This is our first ever Lex action figure for the Mattel Jurassic line. Here she is. Um, finally getting to check her out in person. You can see she does have her movie accurate clothing with her tank top and her pants. I know that she's got a print on the tank top and the movie, but we're obviously not gonna see um, you know, that here in this figure. I mean, I guess they could have maybe done something. If you look at Tim, he's got like stripes on his shirt, right? I feel like they maybe, maybe could have done some sort of, you know, pattern on her blouse, but um, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, come on, we are getting a Lex figure. So let's just try to keep things into perspective, right? Um, and then as far as articulation goes, she has leg articulation that lets her, you know, run and do all that fun stuff and, you know, sit in the chair and hack the Linux system or sit in the Explorer even. Um, and we also have uh, articulation in the arms so you can move her arms out. No, worth noting that she does not have elbow articulation um, like a lot of the regular legacy figures do. Like if you put her next to Grant here, you can see Grant has legacy, arti uh, sorry, elbow articulation and waist articulation, um, but uh, does not look like, doesn't look like Lex has waist articulation or of course elbow articulation too. So um, just something of note that the, the adult figures have, right? And the uh, kid figures don't have. She does have a uh, head that moves too, so she can, you know, look. And as far as, you know, she's got nice detail. She's got like a braid back here. So they definitely packed in some detail for her hair. Her hair tie even has a little bit of paint on it. So um, there's definitely some nice detail here. Her face, you know, you, you can probably argue if this looks like, you know, really looks from the movie. I know a lot of people pick on her eyebrows, but I think they probably did that just because blonde eyebrows would have looked even weirder. So uh, I can kind of understand why they, why they went with the darker color. Um, but she's a little bit taller than Tim. Um, but what I think is interesting is if we think about, you know, Mattel Jurassic kid toys, right? Um, kid toys meaning action figures of kids. I mean, we have all of Camp Cretaceous, like Brooklyn here. Brooklyn's allegedly the same age as Lex, right? And I know that she's a cartoon. Um, in fact, Brooklyn might be, you know, maybe a tiny bit older, but not much. But look at the, the height difference here. I mean, Lex looks like, or uh, um, Brooklyn rather, looks like a giant. Next to Grant, she's even like pretty tall. Um, and she just looks beefier in general. It's kind of funny. Um, and she obviously has all the articulation you'd expect with elbows and waist and all that. Um, but for whatever reason, they made Lex without the articulation. I, I think she's scaled right though. I don't think she's too short. I just thought that was funny that her and Brooklyn were supposedly, you know, the same age, two sort of, you know, tweens basically, maybe teens. And uh, Brooklyn's so much bigger. And Brooklyn looks like, if Lex is supposed to be, what, 12 or 13, Brooklyn looks, you know, 17 or 18. And I don't think that's supposed to be the case. So just kind of funny. And, of course, she comes with her frying pan. I want to say signature frying pan, but let's be honest. She never used a frying pan in the movie. So I'm not really sure why they gave her a frying pan. It's kind of a random thing to give her. I would have given her a ladle. Um, and, you know, I'm sure someone will say, oh, well, the ladle would have been lost. But they've given us some really, really tiny accessories with Mattel Jurassic. I can think of the new Claire figure who has a, who has a walkie-talkie about this big. It's like the tiny, it's like smaller than a microchip. So you can't tell me we would have gotten a ladle lost. And to me, the ladle is a little more iconic. She uses it to clank the floor in the movie, if you remember. So it's kind of funny they didn't include the ladle. Um, but again, beggars can't be choosers. Finally getting that Lex figure. Tim, of course, is, uh, you know, we have a Tim from the Explorer set. Now we have this other Tim. He has articulation. He has a head that moves. He has arms that move. And he has legs that move. Worth noting that he does not have knee articulation. Oh, yeah, he does. He does have knee articulation. So he's got the same exact articulation as Lex. You know, knees um, at the waist or, sorry, at the hip and then shoulders and neck. So no, none of that added articulation. He is a little bit different than the Tim that comes with the Explorer. Um, the first thing is the dirt, and the only thing is the dirt. He just has dirt on his shin, dirt on his shorts, and dirt on one of his shoulders. Um, and, that's, and that's it. Um, other than that, he's uh, basically the exact same figure. Everything about him is the same. The paint tone, the plastic tone, everything is identical. There's nothing um, unique about... Uh, about the dirty Tim here. So besides the fact that he's dirty. Um, so that's dirty Tim, Lex. Of course, we got to look at the Velociraptor again, probably the part of this set that I am the most excited about for. 
because it, I mean, I love a good dinosaur, of course, but uh, I've always loved this paint scheme. Of course, this is uh, not a brand new paint scheme for Jurassic Raptors. They used this one when they did the uh, Hammond Collection Raptors, which I'll bring out here in a second, but let's talk about this sculpt. It's the new sculpt from uh, Mattel for 2022 for the Raptor. I think if you've been watching our reviews, it's the same blue that, um, it's the same sculpt as blue. It's the same sculpt as the Extreme Damage Raptor. It's the same sculpt as the Raptor that comes with the truck. And it's really nice. It's very versatile. It's very neutral. Um, it, it's, you know, got a nice neutral pose. Um, and of course it has some really cool articulation too that I love to talk about. It's got obviously the legs, you know, so you can do all kinds of stuff like, uh, you know, call up or scratch down. It has the arm articulation. Claws are in kind of a cool pose, sort of, um, you know, you know, sort of like uh, position down versus out, which I think helps give it a neutral pose. Then, of course, the neck is what's really exciting because we have this articulation on the neck that we've never had on a basic Raptor figure before, unless you count, you know, uh, some of those battle damage figures from that wave. Um, and it also has jaw articulation naturally. So you can do some really cool poses with this. It makes me want to open one or two of them because it's just such a cool, cool, uh, cool sculpt and lets you do a lot more um, toy photography wise um, because you can finally get this guy, you know, doing some cool things with his, with his you know, awesome articulation. You can even look behind him and call. So really cool that you can do this with a basic figure, have this added articulation with the neck. Of course, wouldn't be a 2022 toy without that scan tag that's always hard for me to get out so there's the scan tag it literally shoots right into the back and uh, pretty much hides in there pull it back out um but yeah i mean what's really cool about this raptor again is that paint scheme right it's got it's sort of reminiscent of the first film's raptor it's it's not like obviously the perfect execution of it but it's definitely the closest thing we've got and what i love about it is that it matches Two figures we already have, which are from the uh, Hammond set um, that came out in, I guess that would have been, what, 2020? Um, but look at this. These are the these are totally different figures, um, all three of them, but they all share the same paint scheme, which effectively gives you a full pack of Raptors that um, all have unique poses, which I think is just really, really cool. Again, these are not the same figures. These are different figures that just happen to share the, the same paint scheme. Um, to give yourself sort of a dynamic Velociraptor pack. I mean, come on, how cool is that? Just three, three Raptors all doing something different. Um, I love. I just love this new one though. I'm, I'm totally, totally digging it. I love the, the uh, neck, neck articulation. Just really makes it a unique toy. So, um, that's probably one of the most exciting things about this Lex for me. Set for me besides Lex is that new Raptor with the articulated neck. It's just really, really cool. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time on that, but let's go ahead and re reunite Lex with the rest of her crew before we part ways. Um, of course, we have the Explorers behind us. We have the whole Legacy crew. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ditch Dirty Tim in the frying pan for this. Um, she's going to go ahead and reunite with the clean version of her brother um, from the Explorer set. We have finally have Lex and Tim together along with Grant and Ellie and Malcolm finally getting to ride that tour tour vehicle and of course just because we're talking about all the legacy figures we of course have to bring in Nedry and Arnold oh no my, my explorer is already leaving for the tour backwards and uh you know Hammond and Muldoon so we got the whole gang here. Uh, it's just awesome that Mattel has over, you know, what, three or four years now, I guess, four years, has really gone out of their way to flesh out the film's original cast. Um, and, and with Lex, it sort of seals the deal. I mean, we, we could still use Gennaro. There's no arguing against that. But look at all we've got so far. I mean, this is more characters from the film than uh, Kenner even gave us. So kudos to Mattel. Can finally fill up these tour vehicles with everybody. Of course, once we get Gennaro, that would really seal the deal. But other than that, everyone else can fit in these tour vehicles, which is, you know, really, really exciting. So um, we'll go ahead and get uh, Lex and... Tim in the tour vehicles. We'll get everybody in tour vehicles and see where we went off. What I love about these explorers is that they all have um, 
doors that open so the characters can go inside pretty easily. Oh no, everyone's fallen. Um, and I'm talking all four doors. If you watched the review for these, you already know what I'm talking about. Not just those front doors, but those back doors too open up that let us put Tim in. Get in there, Tim. And Lex in. And we'll go ahead and fit Ellie in that tour vehicle too. I mean, how cool is that? Um, that Mattel's given us not just the uh, human characters, but the tour vehicle to fit them all in. We'll go ahead and get these guys off. They never went on the tour, right? They're employees. Um, they never got to go on the tour, but everyone else fits in the tour vehicle. It's not even cramped. They're all in there. So fun that Mattel has given us the, this incredible Explorer toy for one, but all the human figures to fit inside it. So awesome. I love it. Whoa, Ellie's taking a dive. So I think that is all I got. Uh, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.